is is that it is called Cremophore and it is also known as RH410 and it has the ability to increase the potency of my pyrolutamide hence making it more effective than I actually expected it to be so that is only a plus and I'm off with the minoxidil little more no more face swellings or anything What is up guys and welcome back. So today we're gonna do an in-depth tutorial or step-by-step -step guide on how I mix my pyrolutamide myself. This is mainly because it seems like some of you guys are a bit insecure on the math on how much you should dose in your solution, your carrier vehicle and how long it is going to last you guys. So what I did here is that I made some few notes down here with some math that is very simple but it will maybe help some of you guys understand what you can expect and what dosages you're gonna get if you follow these few steps. The first thing we have up here is the dosages that I'm going to use. That means that I'm going to use 150 milligrams into 30 milliliters of carrier vehicle. My preferred carrier vehicle is the KNB solution from Anagenic. So I am going to explain the KNB solutions in a few moments and why I use it, but just stick with me for now and we'll get to that later. So if you want the 5 mg per milliliter solution that was the maximum dosage used in the studies I showed you guys before, well, you can just follow me step by step because this is what I'm making for myself. If you want the lower dosages used in the study, the 2.5 mg, well, you're just going to use half of what I'm using, that is 75 mg for 30 milliliters. If you're not using the KNB solution from Anagenic, but instead you might be using something like minoxidil, well, minoxidil usually comes in 60 milliliters. That means that you're just gonna double the amount of pyrolutamide that you are going to add. So what if you don't have a scale? Because you are going to need a scale to do this. Well, I figured that some of you guys might have bought the powder without actually noting that you needed a scale for this. So I did so a little basic math and what I found was that if you add 500 milligrams into 120 milliliters, you're gonna get a concentration of 4.2 milligrams per milliliter. This means that if you don't have a scale, you can take two bottles of minoxidil, just pour them into a glass or something, of course a clean glass, pour it all into a clean glass, you just dump a package of 500 milligrams of pyrolutamide into that solution and then just dissolve it and put it back into the minoxidil bottles or whatever. And if you're using the KNB solution and you don't still have a weight, this is just going to take you four bottles. Just as I just told you before, pour it all into a glass, dissolve the pyrolutamide into them and just split them up into the bottles again or anything like that so you can keep them in a dark place while you're using one of the bottles. The next thing is how long is the solution going to last you if you are going to use the five milligrams per milliliter that I'm using. Well, one package here is going to last you three months if you use the five milligrams per milliliter dosages and six months if you use the 2.5 milligrams per milliliter. This means that I am going to have a little bit left over pyrolutamide, but at the end of the day, I really don't plan on quitting pyrolutamide. So whatever I have left, I'll just add into the new bags that I'm going to buy at that point. So why the KNB solution instead of minoxidil? First off, I did end up having a lot of dandruff problems from a lot of minoxidil usage over the years. My scalp doesn't seem to like it as much as it used to before. Secondly, I did tend to get a little bloated in my face from using the minoxidil all the time. And I only noted that when I switched over to Redensil for a, for a shorter period, but Redensil didn't seem to do it all for me. So I had to figure out something else. This led me to check out this KNB solution that Anagenic has as a carrier vehicle. What it contains, different from all the other compounds out there, is that they, it has the KNB emulsifier. KNB emulsifier is also known as Cremophore, and you can look it up if you type RH410. This is the chemical name for the structure here. So Chemophore has some very interesting abilities. And I am going to just post somewhere around here 
a page from one of the books I have. This is called Drug Delivery. It is written by Stefan Grube. This actually shows that the cremophore has the ability to increase the potency of a drug delivery with over five times the original amount. So that is why I am very excited to try and use their KNB emulsifier because at the end of the day, what it actually is, is cremophore or IH410 that has the ability to increase the effectiveness of the pyrolutamide. So at the end of the day, what this really is, is that it is called cremophore and it is also known as RH410 and it has the ability to increase the potency of my pyrolutamide, hence making it more effective than I actually expected it to be. So that is only a plus and I'm off with the minoxidil, more, no more face swellings or anything like that. So guys, let's just step right into it. So of course we needed the scale as I just told you guys, this is one of the important steps. If you don't have a scale and you want to buy a scale, I'm going to post a link down below or you can just go to Amazon, eBay, wherever you want to and just buy a mini scale. So. So I did bring out my two bags of pyrolutamide, but I will actually only be opening one of them and the other one is just gonna wait until I get that far into it. One eternity later. So first off, what you are of course want to do is open your bag of pyrolutamide. Inside the bag you will find another smaller bag containing another smaller bag and a smaller bag and a smaller bag. So don't be so nervous when you are going to open these things. It isn't going to explode anywhere or anything like that. So before we are going to place anything on the weight, we need to reset it one last time because I placed some aluminum foil on it. And it is really important that you get the precise measurement here. So as I said, I am going for 150 milligrams into my KNB solution and it isn't really a lot. So be careful when you are measuring this stuff up. Just this tiny spoon already got me to 110. So you might see it, you could very quickly go overboard with this stuff. Yeah, and I actually already did that there. So finally, finally I managed to get the scale to 0 0.15, that is 150 milligrams, since my scale is weighing in grams. So the zero is of course zero grams, then 150 milligrams is 0 0.15 grams. And I'm just going to turn this scale around so you guys can see the digits for yourself. And this is the amount of pyrolutamide that I am going to add into my K and B solution. So I actually ended up having a bit of trouble getting this off my little foil paper. So I had to use my little tablespoon, teaspoon or whatever it's called, to actually very gently scoop it down into the vial or the bottle. You guys would actually be amazed how little 150 milligrams actually is when you are trying to measure this stuff up. So there you go, 150 milligrams into the 30 milliliter of KNB solution. And guys, that is more or less how easy this is when you're using a pre-made solution and just get the powder. You can more or less just buy a scale, the pre-made solution and some powder and save a ton of money that way. Or of course you can just buy the pre-made powder solutions from wherever you decide to buy from. 
So one last thing before I go guys, I really want to stress this out. I really don't care where you buy your stuff from. Like I'm a big fan of Anna Jennings. They have been very good to me. They have helped me when I wrote them emails about their stuff. I like that company, but that doesn't mean that you only have to use that company. I like to use them and I recommend them, but you can just get your stuff anywhere you want from. The only thing I want to urge you guys to do when buying these things on the internet is find some place that had a third party lab testing done somewhere else in the world. Because usually a lot of these companies, well, there's so much money in these things and you really don't know what you're getting. And at the end of the day, I really don't care where you spend your money. I'm just more concerned if you're wasting your money and you don't get the results that you were hoping for because, well, at the end of the day, hair loss is such a devastating thing for a lot of men. And I'm pretty sure that if you later found out that you were scammed and just got something that didn't work, you would have gladly paid more like 10 euros more, or 10 dollars more, or something like that, or just waited five days more for the delivery or whatever the circumstances were compared to getting the things quicker and maybe cheaper, anything like that, but not getting any results like you're here to fix your hair you're not here to save money but of course find the best place that suits you please just be very cautious where you buy from that they have a third party lab test done somewhere else in the world so guys that is all i have for you i hope this gave a little more insight in how you can mix your pyrolutamide and why i use the can b solution or how you can do it yourself without a scale or if you're using minoxidil or if you want to use something entirely else so i hope this helps some of you guys out who had some of the questions on my channel and i hope i'll see you in the next video cheers